Hi, my name is Nick Kotenberg, and I'm a senior software engineer at Fusionware. Uh, in this series, I want to show you the power of Sockle Cluster and Vue.js when building a very large single-page application. Uh, using this structure, you'll be able to create any web application that has unlimited scaling potential, and it's really, really, really fast. Uh, we will learn horizontal scaling, vertical scaling, which is clustering like multiple CPUs. Uh, Node.js is uh, normally single-threaded, single but we'll show you how to do... Um, scaled across multiple CPU cores and multiple servers in the same application uh, with your database and your application and your load balancer, which is really cool. Um, we'll also uh, learn how to utilize Vue.js for the client side, and we'll talk about a little bit more about Vue.js in a minute. Uh, database management, like I mentioned before. Uh, also, a really cool, easy way to do migrations with, uh, with uh, Node. Uh, the MVC with Node. Uh, REST with Vue and Socket Cluster on the server side and the client side, which obviously Socket Cluster is server side and Vue.js is client side. Uh, uh, Vue.js is really, really cool internal communication system and many, many, many topics, many more topics. Uh, at the end of the series, you'll be able to build any application quickly and efficiently. And also, you'll notice the way we structure these apps, any developer that comes on to to your development team, we'll be able to pick this up very quickly because we designed this system at my work to be easily taught and easily used. Okay, so why Socket Cluster? Well, there are several main reasons. Uh, the first main reason is that Socket Cluster gives us access to uh, um, clustering uh, for multiple CPUs, uh, pub channel uh, management so we can handle multiple applications, multiple application servers running the same application and communicating seamlessly and also it gives us easy access to web sockets which is a really really quick way to communicate between your uh, clients and your servers um, so the as you can tell from that explanation socket cluster provides a really easy way to scale the application um, we can scale with unlimited number of servers and we can process data essentially instantly which is pretty dang cool um, also, it provides us, I think I mentioned this before, uh, with vertical scaling, which is multiple cores in a single system, which Node doesn't directly come with. There are packages like Cluster that allow you to do that. There are also packages like Socket.io with, um, with uh, Node that allow you to do web sockets, but Socket Cluster is a complete framework with all that built in. It's nice and easy. It has a nice command line interface to build applications. It's super cool, and it's also it's, it's unopinionated. Um, it has... Um, structures the general ways you build the application, but it doesn't force you down a specific path, which makes it nice, really cool. So if you're not sure what direction to go, you can use kind of the Sock Cluster way of doing it. Or if you like to do it your own way, it's not going to break the system or make it more difficult to do it your own way. It's really, I love Sock Cluster. Okay. Uh, also, uh, the um, client side, we're going to be using Vue.js. Now, I'm not sure if you've heard of Vue.js before. It's kind of a newer framework. I believe it came out in 2015. It's, it's pretty new. Uh, when I first started using it, it only had 18,000 stars. Now it has 23,000 stars. So you can see it's growing pretty quickly. Uh, Vue.js is created by one of the lead developers on Angular. And if you want to know some of the comparisons between Vue.js and some of the more popular frameworks like Angular, um, React, uh, Ember, which Ember is what I used to use before of uh, Vue.js, uh, Polymer and Riot and some of the other ones, there's a nice explanation for your why you should use Vue.js. Okay, uh, let's, let me uh, promote Vue.js a little more here. So one of the great parts about Vue.js is that it's completely modular and unopinionated. Just like our Socket Cluster framework, it provides you with ways to do the Vue.js way, but if you want to, let's just say you don't like the routing in Vue.js, you can use your own router. It, you, you can use any plugin you want. It's very, very, very cool. It's super powerful, and it's not, there isn't a very steep learning curve. Like one of the problems with Angular, and especially Ember, is the learning curve is so difficult. It, it, it's, it, it can take you years to master something. With Vue.js, you can pick it up in literally weeks. We had a developer at my work who just started using Vue.js. In two weeks, he was already building components for the system, and they were nice. And so Vue.js is awesome, and it's really, really, really powerful. Okay, so... Um, one of the other uh, one of the other cool things about Vue.js is that um, it's really, really, really optimized. So it's very, very, very quick. And also, unlike some of the other frameworks, instead of 
updating the whole DOM or, or, or like Angular walking, walking the DOM to find stuff, Vue.js only does the minimal amount of processing it needs. So if you change something, it only changes that one spot. That may not make a whole lot of sense right now, but when we get into it, you'll definitely see how cool Vue.js is. I hope you at least give it a shot. Okay, so in order to show you the power of Suck Cluster and Vue.js and building a very large app, I obviously can't show you uh, some of the projects from my work because, well, you know, I'm not allowed to do that. <laughs> but I can build somewhat similar apps to give you, can kind of show you what the power of the system can be. Uh, one of the apps we're using right now is uh, has uh, one main load balancer, has three main application servers, and one database application, one database uh, server, and we can scale those unlimited. So limited. So in the middle of the night, we spin down all of our application servers because we are a U.S.-based company. So we only ever have a few users at night. So only one server is re uh, processing requests. And as users come on in the morning, we spin up more servers. And we just spin, 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 spin up to what we need. So our costs, because we're a cloud-based company, is directly related to our use, uses, use. And obviously we charge more than our cost to run. So you can see it works out well. Uh, and also the load balancer, which I'll show you later on, that Sock Cluster comes with, um, handles that spinning up and spinning down seamlessly it's pretty dang cool okay so what are, what are we going to do specifically well there's this game online called eve online i'm not sure if you've heard of it um but one of the beauties of the eve online is it has a player driven market which means that the cost of goods is dynamic so it changes all the time and also the the manufacturing in the game is really 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 complex which fits our, our structure really really well because now i can show you uh, the ability of Vue.js to be dynamic, changing data all the time, fast with data changes, um, and also um, I can show you the power of SOC cluster and communication with those changes. So uh, also we can all do it through SSL seamlessly with SOC cluster. Pretty cool. So uh, anyway, um, I hope that you stick with this series and you enjoy this uh, opening. And uh, once again, thanks for watching this, guys, and... Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions at all. And I encourage you, even if you don't want to follow, follow through with this series, please, please, please check out Stock Cluster. Check out Vue.js and uh, message me. I'll, I'll be putting a link to my um, email account below. Please send me any messages you have or a message in, 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 uh, in, in the chat below on YouTube. Thanks, guys, and uh, see you next time. Have a great day.